So one of the more frequently asked questions that I get, or at least the most asked question that I get at the moment is, how do I practice throw breaking and how do I make it consistent within my gameplay? Now, I'm going to show you guys my regimen on how I break throws and how I go about it. It's very easy and it's a very easy practice, right? But the whole entire point is, can you visually react to each hand popping out? Because each hand is connected to whatever command throw they're tossing at you. So for Dragunov here, he is a command grappler. That means that he has every throw possible, every throw option in the game, right? From 1 to 2 to 1 plus 2, right? 1 being square, 2 being triangle, and 1 plus 2 being square and triangle together as well, right? So, I already have the throw options set here and how to set them. Practice settings, you're going to set the training mode to defense. And as you see here, you can record whatever options that you want to. If you're practicing whatever situation you're practicing, you can set them right here. But we have throw set already. And in that move list, under throws, it has every throw option possible. And you can set those from there. And then we're good to go from here, right? Very easy. Now, whatever you're on, I'm on PS5, so touchpad and circle. Is going to start with the animations right as you see every grab has popped out right from two to one to one plus two right so the whole entire point is can you visually see them and can you break them because everything is going to come at you but at different times different speeds right you can set them at different speeds different timings but can you break them back to back is the question and let me know in the comment section how many you broke in a row I've broken a hundred in a row on Tekken 7. I haven't practiced this game yet, but it's the same thing. I'm sure I can do it. But each throw is not going to be the same throw, obviously. It can be, but all of them are going to be different or they're going to be the same. And you got to break it on reaction. So I'm going to show you guys just a basic view of what it's going to look like while you're doing it, right? So let's reset here. I'm going to turn it on. That's a two throw. That's one plus two. Two throw. One. Two. Two. One. That's one plus two. Now, as you see, I didn't break it there, right? But that's a part of the practice. Can you break all of them in a row without messing up? And if you do, we just reset, we go back to it, and we keep practicing until we hit whatever mark that you have as a goal. Now, when I was starting out, I had maybe 20, right? Now I'm at 40, then there's 60, then there was 80, then 100, then maybe 1,000, right, throughout the week, right? If you set this as a part of your regiment for practice, I promise you become a godlike door breaker. Now, when you're playing competitively, it could be in a casual setting, it could be competitive, it could be ranked. It's not gonna naturally hit you immediately, right? But the whole entire point is, can you visually cue what throw they are throwing at you? And can you press the right button at the right time? And can you press it on time? That is your practice for now. From effect here, hope you can become godlike at door breaking.